welcome to your day and day three and last day of the Smart uh, Style for Smart Women Challenge. And we have spoken about uh, why do you want to be seen as an expert in your field, uh, why you need and must look the part, and how important is your presence uh, and the level of confidence in how you come across to people and to how that affects how you see yourself and how actually others perceive you. So today it's all about uh, learning how to upgrade your style. And uh, as I spoke in the previous two, day, uh, two days, for us women it's really important to realize um, that uh, the way we look is not vain and it's actually really important because it will affect how we see ourselves, how we stand tall, how we communicate with confidence as opposed to going invisible and hiding behind black clothes or clothes that are not the perfect fit or actually being super capable and intelligent but being invisible uh, for opportunities to see us. So it is important that you understand your style personality and by this I mean I hear this a lot like but I, I work in the corporate world to say something so I must be wearing the black jackets and this and that. So. Uh, as much as I am all about first impressions and, and behind the science of first impression, one of the first things we need to take into consideration is the expectation of the other person. I completely disagree that the only way to look professional for you is wearing black jackets and white shirts, which I completely find boring. Uh, there can be there can be made cool with the right accessory, but if you every day wear black jackets and white shirts, obviously you're gonna get bored pretty quickly. Um, so understand your star personality and also making sure that you infuse who you are into how you present yourself into the world. So are you dramatic? Are you uh, more classic? Are you more feminine? Are you more natural? Um, it is important to understand what is your natural personality when it comes to styling and actually infusing part of who you are and what makes you different. I'm not saying um, that you can just um, completely forget the, say, the standards, but I do think there is a great way in finding a middle ground in which you can fully express yourself. I work in the corporate world for many, many years and I was able to still wear uh, accessories and a lot of color because that's part of who I am. I know by understanding exactly how the science works, how I can balance that and still make myself look credible and professional. However, you don't actually need to go completely um, into the standard or what people expect from you and completely losing who you are and just really actually dressing on clothes that make you feel blah because then you're gonna end up feeling blah and acting from that position which we don't want. I just have my notes from here today so I don't forget what is it that I want to say. Well it's really important that you stay true to who you are and what I see through my experience working with women along the years is we first of all have forgotten who we are, we have disconnected from our style and then we keep <clears throat> um, going back to the same things over and over again and wondering why you're getting bored. So staying true to who you are is actually, actually also making sure that you're making the most of your body shape and how to dress with clothes that enhance your, your style and how to wear colors that actually enhance the color of your eyes and that actually enhance your skin tone and, and make you look healthy vital, alive, and professional, and that's the power of wearing the right colors for you. You actually look as a more professional woman. Um, adding colors is one of my favorite things, and, and um, while I was working in, in the corporate world, uh, I work always in the city center in Perth, and I remember when I first arrived to Australia and I started working there, I remember thinking, why is everyone wearing black and gray? And there I was with my pink fuchsia, coat standing out into the multitude of people and I totally appreciate wearing black, I love it, but I truly believe that wearing black all the time is all about invisibility, hiding, thinking is easy, uh, but also in a way I can say it fully from my experience working with my clients over the years. When they really understand what colors work for them, they realize it's easier and then they also realize that it was all about hiding and just being a little bit lazy. Um, accessories are such an important aspect of bringing outfits together and even in the professional corporate world or if you have your business, your own business, accessories will help your outfit to be finished, to look amazing and you can wear a lot of accessories that are still very professional. You can even wear statement pieces that will bring an outfit and make it look amazing. And the makeup. Uh, there's amazing amount of number of studies that show that women who wear makeup are considered more intelligent and more professional. And I, I love wearing makeup. Uh, I think every single woman can do with wearing a little bit of makeup to enhance her natural features. It's about you looking healthy and vibrant. It's not about having to do a full face. I'm a lot about simplicity and knowing what works for you. So you can do it quick in the morning, having routines in the morning that support you. 
So wearing a little bit of makeup can be even just knowing what colors work best for your eyes and doing a little bit of eyeliner or eyeshadow and put a little bit of lip gloss. It doesn't have to be like a full on makeup. And, and with this, I'm leading to the routines in the morning. And part of you being able to upgrade your style and your image and your presence is allowing 10, 15 minutes extra in the morning for you to not recommend my clients to do that today because when you pre-plan, that you can go to outfits. And if on the day you don't feel like wearing any of the pre-planned outfits, then you can pick a new one. Oh, sorry about that. I hope I am still online. Hey, Vicky, can you tell me if you can hear me now? So for me, it's all about pre-planning in the morning that routine so you have time to pick outfits and clothes that make you feel confident and you actually being able to walk out of the house feeling confident, feeling on top of the world. And that is, that's what is this, this is all about. Um, and when it comes to your presence, I also want you to understand, and we spoke about this already in the previous videos, but I want you to also remember and just reinforce the fact that your image is just a part of it. Your body language <clears throat> needs to be aligned with your words and with your presence. So you are the whole package. Thanks, Vicky. So you are the whole package. You are actually able to command that magnetic energy. Oh, sorry about that. I hope, I hope it's going to get better and the replay will be better. And, and remember, the bigger piece of all of this is your confidence. And that's what I love working from the inside out because, yes, we can change the clothes, but it's not about that. It's about you empowering yourself to stand in that place of confidence when you accept who you are, when you love who you are, and when you know how to make the most out of who you are, you know how to use your body language to command respect or leadership, whatever it is that you want to in your business or in your uh, corporate career, so you are seen, you are remembered, you stand out, you are the woman that is the, that is the whole package, the intelligent, capable woman who presents herself impeccable and beautiful, who respects herself so much that she takes care of herself, she, who respects so much herself that she's confident, and then she portrays that image to the outside, so people are magnetically drawn to her to know what she's about, to know what is it that she does. So then in that, in that opportunity, in that point, is when you actually uh, start attracting the opportunities to your life. And I want you to remember that leaders lead, and they lead with their bodies. They are not sitting there, hey, Bethany, they are not sitting there uh, worrying about how they look today, uh, having self-doubt about if people are judging them or not. Leaders actually just... Uh, decide that they're going to go forward and they command that confidence. And this is not about being a supermodel, as I said in past videos. This is about you knowing who you are, where you are in your life and with your body and knowing how to make the most out of who you are. This is all about you creating a style that stands out. Stands out. This is about being you being proud of all that you have to share and no second guessing yourself more. This is all about you being your best version and showing the world that you're ready for the next step in your career or in your business. So, you know, you're a, I know you're a smart woman. I know that you can actually expend, spend the time. You could work this out. It's taken me quite a few years to learn this science because there's a science behind everything I speak. The science of colors and styles and first impressions and body language and personal branding. But if you actually wanted to sit down and study, you could. Um, this doesn't come naturally to us, but I don't want you to feel bad about it. It's because there is a science. So we, I had to sit down and learn all this, and there's professionals in this industry, and I'm one of them. But I don't want you just to think, uh, think that you're silly or, or, or that why don't I, DN, or I have a lot of, of, of clients who said to me, like my mom never told me how to really apply makeup or how to pick up clothes. So we were not taught these things. And I, as I said, I started exploring at a very early age, but I have dedicated hours and hours and years and years to actually learn how to create a standout image and presence and, and, and make the most out of who I am and how I look and how to actually create a brand that supports me and that is uniquely me. So um, the, the great thing about this is I have done all the studies. So this is not about me adding more into your plate. Um, so I have studied all this science for many years and I have created a very systematic process that can take you through the seven pillars and the seven areas that I know leaders need to work on to create that standout presence. So this is about equipping you with all the information you need in all the different areas that will help you create that leadership style. Um, so um, I'm here today um, very excited to really share with you that 
this is what I love. This is my passion, helping women and um, corporate women and business owners really making the most out of who they are. I have learned, I have shared with you throughout the last three days all, all of the information, all of the foundation of what is my work about. And this is something that resonates with you. I would love to get in contact with me. Um, this is the, the website in which you can find the information of how we could work together. It's wownow.albagomez.com.au slash 90 dash day and if this is something that resonates with you i would love you to read what my 90 day program is about in how we could work together how you can actually uh, get your personalized styles and colors understand how you come across to people um it's backwards oh jesus yes that's not great i'll write it down wow now dot alpagomez.com.au slash 90 dash day i will add the link at the at the end of the of the video so this program is all about you spending some time actually uh, getting the fast track to learning how to make the most out of you. I will be there with you holding your hand and sharing all my knowledge so you, you are equipped with all the information so you know exactly and understand what your style is, what your personal brand is, how, what is the makeup that works for you, what is the body language that actually helps you come across that, that credible um credible woman and in all the areas that uh, that we've been talking about in the last day so as i said if this is something that uh, resonates with you i would love to talk to you i love to have a very personal uh, contact with my clients so on that page you will be able to see what my program is about and book a call with me that is completely free of obligation and i would like to finish today's videos with um asking you to i'll challenge you for the last time in this day to really go through your wardrobe and to really start looking into it with new eyes, fresh eyes, thinking if the image you are creating today is in line with the woman you want to be, with the woman you want to be in two or three years. And I want you to understand that dressing for that is what you need to start doing. You need to stand out and the way you dress yourself, you position yourself, you use your body language. And we asked those questions yesterday. But I want you to actually look into your wardrobe and I want you to look at yourself in the mirror. That will be the second thing. And I want you to see if there is anything that you know you need to start doing differently. If there is new, new knowledge that you need to acquire. If there is something that you know in your heart that needs to happen with your presence, with your body language and with your image. So you can get to the next step in your corporate career. So you can get to the next step in your business. And I, either with me or on your own, I, I really invite you to start taking action because that is the only way in, thing you, in, in the way you're gonna achieve those goals. And I want you to really remember and get into your heart that the way you present it to the world is important. But more important than anything else is how you see yourself. So be very careful as to how are you talking to yourself in the mirror. And as I said, if this is something that resonates with you and, and you are ready to take your career to the next level, I'm here for you and I would love to hear from you. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon at the group. Bye-bye.